Firmware 5 allows to tune and transpose the SMR in new ways. Transposition and tuning can be visualized on the associated display modes. Let's take a look at these new features and how they can be used creatively. Each channel can be transposed by up to six semitones. To transpose a channel, press its lock button and turn its frequency nudge knob. Transposition amount is displayed in half steps. Blue represents upwards transpositions, red represents downwards transposition. Channels are defaulted to zero transpose, which is displayed on the envelope LED as half red, half blue. Channel transposition only gets updated once the previous transposition setting was crossed, in this case, midway of the frequency nudge knob course. Each channel can be assigned a different transposition amount. Multiple channels can be transposed at once by pressing more than one lock button when transposing. To transpose even channels, replicate the procedure using the events frequency nudge knob. We will leave channel 6 untransposed for now. Transpose clear and creative views. Transpositions can be cleared by pressing all six lock buttons at once for about two seconds. Transpositions are cleared independently at button release. For now, transpositions are held as long as buttons remain pressed. Notice how every lock button but channel 6 is, is blinking. Indeed, transposed channels are indicated by blinking. In other words, channel 6 is not blinking because it was not transposed. Clearing transpositions can be played creatively by releasing the lock buttons with a given timing. The blinking help anticipate which button release will actually have effect. Next, let's transpose all channels and lock channel 5 and 6. When we clear transpositions by pressing the 6 lock buttons for 2 seconds, Every channel blink, but channel 5 and 6 blink differently. When we released the lock buttons, the transpositions were cleared for every channels, but 5 and 6. Channel 5 and 6 are still transposed. We unlock them to clear their transpositions. Indeed, locked channels don't get their transpositions cleared at button release like others do. Instead, their transposition settings are cleared when the channel is unlocked. This is a way to stage clearing transpositions for later use. Transpose setting slots. Transpositions can be saved and recalled from the SMR flash memory. The save load procedure is described in the filter type video. 
The link can be found in the description. We encourage referring to this video or the manual. Once in the desired key, channels can be fine-tuned. The frequency nudge knobs have been updated to tune the channels upwards to a maximum of about half a step. Fine-tuning can go a tiny bit beyond half a step to allow for more flexibility. Fine-tune adjustments are shown on the odd channels for the sake of this example. Fine-tuning the even channels is done by adjusting the even's frequency nudge knob instead. The frequency nudge knob has no effect on the channel tuning when set fully counterclockwise. With the frequency nudge knob set fully clockwise, the SMR channels are tuned a bit above half a step up. The current tuning is displayed on the envelope LEDs. White is no adjustment. Blue is tuned up. Channels can be locked to their current fine-tune settings. Locked channels are not impacted by fine-tuning adjustments. Locked channels blink then are displayed as dimmed out on the envelope LED. The list of channels impacted by fine-tuning can be altered by flipping the 135 and 246 switches. With the 135 switch set to 1, only channel 1 gets fine-tuned. Channel 3 and 5 are dimmed on the envelope LED display to indicate that they are not getting fine-tuned. When the 246 switch is set to 6, only channel 6 gets fine-tuned. Channels 2 and 4 are dimmed on the envelope LED display to indicate that they are not getting updated. 